So now that we've covered all of the interface, the structure of the pages and the modes and the adjusts and saving and deleting and randomizing and all of the settings, it's time for the fun stuff. Editing your favorites and creating shows. So I'm gonna start out by showing you how to create a customized look with very specific colors. Uh, this might be the kind of thing that you'll use if you have a client that, uh, and their company has very specific branding and they want you to have the colors of their company, for example. Or maybe you just have three colors that you really like and you wanna choose your favorite colors. So, that's gonna be a little different because randomizing is like a dice throw. You don't know what you're gonna get. You're just gonna get different colors. Uh, so, we're gonna use a different technique to create this look so that we can choose very specific colors. I'm gonna use page two, mode three to demonstrate this because it's a really obvious mode. Uh, page two, two quick clicks. Page three, or page two, mode three. Uh, this mode is love and it's just a solid color with the white points. And when I adjust it, it's adjust cycle is simply hue shift. It's gonna change colors as I adjust. But I don't need to worry about adjusting anything yet because I'm going to adjust this in my favorites. So I'm gonna start by saving this. Press and hold, it's gonna fade off the first time, it's gonna fade off the second time, it's gonna come back on, and everything's gonna blink indicating that I just saved it to favorites. Now I'm going to navigate to page four. One, two, three, four. Of course, this mode comes up again this one blink, letting me know I was in page four. Now I'm gonna go through and select my favorite colors. To do so, I'm going to adjust while in page four. And when I save it in page four, it will save the adjustment locally only to the one club that I'm actually saving on. Uh, so I'm going to enter adjust. And when I see it, let's say I'm gonna want purple. Boom, selected purple, I saved this purple. You'll notice all the other ones also look purple. Uh, that's just because the adjust feature still works while you're in favorites. But when I save it, or when, when it actually saved and I released the button, they didn't blink, indicating that this club is the only one that that purple color saved to. So I set this one aside, select the next one, adjust it. I'm gonna go for a nice blue on this, in this case, blue. I'm gonna save this one. You'll notice my purple one continued adjusting along with all the other ones. It's okay, we already saved the purple on that one. Blue, saved. So I go through this process, adjusting each one. Oops, I turned them off, that's okay. When you turn off, when you turn back on, they're right back where you left off. So enter adjust, wait for green to come up. I'm just gonna go for a nice clean rainbow just because I can. Mm, not green enough, green. Select and save. And uh, I'm not gonna bother to do the other three just in the interest of time here. But when I navigate back to the beginning of page four with the three clubs that I just programmed, one, two, three, four, you can see that I've got the green, the blue, and the purple saved. And this is a great example of why they all adjust together and don't stay in the, uh, the color you selected it really helps to be able to incrementally adjust. So you, if you're adjusting them all and you want to get a nice color spread, you enter adjust, save one, adjust them some more, save the other, adjust some more, save the other. And while it's a little tough to figure out that you can't see all those colors at once, when you go back, you can then see them, it's still useful. Yeah. There actually is a even more advanced way of saving uh, where you can unpair the clubs from each other so that the radio is off and you can actually do them individually so you can see the colors one by one. It just takes even longer. Um, but it can be more meticulous if you are that picky. Um, we're not going to go through that process if you do need to do that. But that is, At this point, you'd be able to figure it out. In a way, it's kind of the simplest way to adjust, to create looks. And also, if you want them to be actually different modes, so you want True. one to be fire and one to be water, then you want to actually delete your grouping so that they're disconnected, and then you can individually go through. And as long as you're saving them to the same slot in favorites, you can save whatever you want to mode one in each of them. And then once you group them back together, they're going to display whatever their individual mode ones were, whether it's different colors of the same mode or different modes entirely.
that's the only way you could save different modes entirely, is by having the radio off when you save it. Solo on? Oh, solo, solo on. on? Solo on. Would also you can work. also yeah. do that, but then you can't see them all at the same time, but you can turn them all off and then just solo on one and save things individually then. Right. So, now we've got a few different modes in my favorites. I've got this one I just created. After that, I've got a fire mode that we did much earlier. And after that, we've got the red indicator telling me I'm at the end of my favorites. And following that is, of course, the autoplay. Uh, we want to run through a few features of the favorites page that allow you to modify your favorites page in order to help with show creation. Uh, the first feature I want to show you is simply duplicating a favorite. So uh, page four, one, two, three, four. And let's say I want, I want to have a couple modes with different color schemes in, in a case like this. So uh, now that I've nav re-navigated to this mode, I didn't just adjust it. I, if I had just adjusted it, I would need to uh, go back to it again by going page four and then finding this mode again. But I want to do it from uh, a recently adjusted. Now, if I save, it will simply duplicate it and add the same color scheme to the beginning of page four. So saving any mode that hasn't been adjusted, saving an unadjusted mode in favorites, will duplicate that mode to mode one. So no matter what mode you're in in favorites, you could be in mode 53. And if you save that, it will create a copy of that mode in favorites mode one, which you can also use to rearrange your favorites, to reorganize them. So if your favorites are not in the order you want, you can just go through the ones you want and save them yeah. that way. So like the fire mode too, I, this is the last mode in my favorites. If I want this mode first instead, I can save it and it'll save a copy of it. And if you want, you could go back and delete the other copy to remove it from your favorites. Right, so now I go back to the beginning of page four, one, two, three, four, and there's the fire mode that I've just copied to the beginning. There's the first version of the color scheme that we created. There's the second version of the color scheme we created, and there's the fire mode again. I don't need two of the same fire mode. I'm gonna delete this one, John. All right. So press and hold, it fades off, it fades off again, turns back on. If I let go right now, then I'm gonna duplicate it again. I wanna delete this thing, so I keep holding until it starts flashing red, and hold it until it stops flashing red. There's no way you're accidentally yeah. deleting anything. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, and so now when I go back through my favorites again, one, two, three, four, you can see there's the fire from the beginning, there's color scheme number one, color scheme number two, and the second fire mode is gone. Forever. Can't undo that one. And I don't know if we covered this already, but this uh, default red mode is a great landmark to know that you've gotten to the end of your favorites and your next mode will be favorites autoplay, which if you delete, will delete all of your favorites. It's a nice way of getting a clean slate. Yeah, that's the favorites autoplay. Uh, you can delete this if you don't want it in your show, uh, Especially but if you're using autoplay for your show, um, you are probably going to want to delete this mode. Yeah. And then you've lost that as a landmark, so you just got to remember whatever your other last mode of favorites is. Right. And then if you delete your favorites by deleting your autoplay, this mode will reappear. This is like right. the default placeholder in page four, page mm -hmm. eight, and page nine, your other show pages. So let's talk about show pages. To yeah. create a show page, you save favorites autoplay. Yeah. If you save favorites autoplay, you can't save favorites autoplay to favorites because that would cause a rift in the space time continuum. But I want that. you can save it to a show page, and you can save a show page autoplay to your favorites. So you can create uh, your favorites autoplay that way. So you can't, there's no real reasonable single button interface for saving a specific mode <clears throat> to a specific page. So you can't save a mode to a show page, but you can build your show, dial it in, in your favorites page, and then when you save favorites autoplay, it creates a show page in page eight. If you do that again, it bumps that up to show page nine and creates a new show page eight 
So you have two show pages. If you did it a third time, page your show page nine would get kicked off and disappear. Kind of like your 60th favorite. If you've saved more than 60 favorites, the last one gets bumped and the new ones take their place. Yeah, so I'm gonna save this small collection of favorites uh, to page eight as my show. It's not a very good show, but hey. <laughs> um, so I navigate through my favorites. I hit the red one. I know I'm getting close to my show, uh, or I, I know I'm getting close to my autoplay. So next one I know is autoplay. I'll just let it change once so you can see that. And then fire and boom, now it changes to the color scheme. So I save this, press and hold, same, same saving procedure as everything else. Pays off, comes back on, and boom. Um, and so now it's still in autoplay, but when That's it's jumped. Yeah. That was a confusing indicator. Because it's an autoplay, it's still changing mode while yeah. you're holding. <laughs> that, uh, that gets me. Yeah, that stopped me for a second, second too. Yeah. Um, so I go now to page eight, which of course eight presses one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that. There's my show. I can cycle through it just like my favorites. I can even delete modes from it just like my favorites. Um, the one thing I can't do is add any more modes to it. And there's a special case here for the saving, uh, saving within a show page does not actually duplicate to show page mode one. It duplicates it to favorites page mode one. Yeah. And this enables you to kind of keep banks of special dialed in looks and modes in your show pages and you can still use them for building a show within favorites and for dialing in and editing the show. It's, it's easier to edit a show within favorites, but you can make edits within the show page by doing uh, adjusted saves. Yeah, for example, right now I'm still in page eight, and uh, let's say I wanna, make, I wanna you know, add some other colors here. I can still adjust these. Um, let's, we'll wait until it gets past green. We'll go for like a yellow or something like that. And, uh, and when I save it, it will just edit the, uh, the existing mode on page eight. And that's the only place it will edit it. Yellow, got it. All right, so I'll save that one and we'll see how that changes the whole look of my page eight favorite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, that was nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight go there's the fire second mode there's that yellow that I just saved so we added an extra color to it where I move to the next one that's the duplicate that I created previously um, and so we've got a show if I saved a second show it would bump this one up to page nine so speaking of which you just accidentally went to page nine for a second and I don't know if you noticed but all those clubs are dark Right. That well, that was a previous show that I had saved, and I started it with a dark mode. Why did uh, you do that? I did that because I wanted to start my routine with my clubs out on the stage, uh, and I wanted them to be off. I wanted to have them turn on on the stage. But having them actually off and doing a group on uh, is a little less reliable than having a dark mode saved. and changing modes to another mode. And so there's actually a way of saving a dark mode. There's actually two ways of saving a dark mode. This is super pro tips, right? Super pro tips. Uh, the first is lantern mode, page one, mode four. Uh, so we'll just go there now and I'll show you the adjust cycle. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, to get back to page one. There's our classic rainbow, page one, mode one. Two is uh, rainbow drops. Three is bold. Four is lantern. So Lantern's adjust cycle has two things going on. It's going to very, very slowly adjust its hue. And uh, it's going to, much faster, dim the mode, as Sean's demonstrating right there. So as I enter adjust, you'll see the mode start to get dimmer. This is actually a really great mode for adjusting your brightness uh, kind of on the fly without actually needing to go into Such brightness. Such a nice, adjustment. dark situation. Yeah. Now, I selected it once it got dark. Now this can get a little confusing because there is no save indicator. 
So you have to just press and hold. Sorry, as long. Couldn't get the indicators to work because the indicator actually is the mode. The mode blinks off for a moment, and so you have the dark mode going dark, and that can't be seen. Yeah. So you got to just kind of. Uh, eyeball the save. Luckily, it will start blinking red and warn you before you delete, and you can't delete that mode anyway. So you really yeah. know you're done if you get there. Like we said earlier, you can't delete a, a mode a base in mode. the first page, in the first three pages, or page 13. Um, if it's a mode that we built into the into the prop, you can't delete it. Right. Um, so there's no worry about holding it too long. Just press and hold. Keep holding. Go for about 10 seconds to be safe. Yeah. I think it's actually like seven seconds. If you've saved a lot of modes, you'll have a fairly intuitive sense as to how long you need to hold the button. Um, and now I'm going to uh, continue to adjust just to show you how the mode comes out of its adjust cycle. It's starting to come back on now. So uh, you, can, you don't have to save it totally dark. You could have saved it with just a little bit of red color just so that you can see something. Another pro tip, having it just a tiny bit of color there so you, you get that reassurance that they are indeed on and ready for you to yeah. click. Lantern is actually one of my favorite uh, practice modes when I'm just hanging out and training because I can actually I can fine tune the level of brightness to whatever I feel like is good. Whereas if you go through the brightness indicator in a settings page, then you have five very distinct brightness levels. But yeah, this it takes is really a little longer, and then you're more committed to the brightness level. Yeah. Plus, with the hue adjust uh, parameter mm -hmm. going on there too, you get beautiful colors. Yeah, they're slightly, uh, slightly desaturated. Yeah, they're a little pastel. Yeah, and uh, so that's a personal favorite for for practicing. And there's no kinetic effects. There's no like blinkiness. It's real chill. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna save this one right now too. Press and hold till it fades back or comes back on and now when I go to page four you'll see this newly created mode one two three four already there and then uh, the next one will be dark they all go off and then when I'm ready to start my show boom, I push the button and the fire comes up so really useful feature uh, really effective for uh, creating that moment of all the props coming on and knowing that they're gonna come on you don't want one prop to not come on just because there was some little glitch in the group on which does happen sometimes also the group on uh, to save battery life when the props are off they're only listening to the radio I think it's maybe even once a second and if it missed the signal one of the times it could take two seconds and one of them could be delayed by the others and so even when it works reliably it's not going to be instant on for Right. Especially if your props are sitting out there for 10 minutes before your show starts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, since we created a show, uh, I'm just going to delete my favorites. I don't need them anymore because I saved most of them to show page. This last one, whatever. I'll, I, can, I can get it again. Uh, so, I'm going to cycle to the end of my favorites page. Once again, looking for the red uh, mode at the end of the page. Just as Indicator. And uh, the next one I know is my autoplay. So I'll delete all the favorites by pressing and holding and deleting. Just like deleting anything else. And I just wait for that blinking red indicator to come on. The blinking red indicator, fortunately, you will see even if you were dealing with dark mode. All right. So one, two, three, four. There's nothing there other than. The red one. Page eight still there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Page eight. There it is. Incredible. Wow. You can actually save a show page autoplay to your favorites with an adjusted interval. So you can go to, uh, maybe you could demonstrate this. Yeah. Uh, page eight, go to your autoplay, adjust it to uh, level four, the next level up which will be like 15 seconds per mode instead of just five seconds. And so that's your right, autoplay. So back to autoplay. And uh, so I enter yep. adjust. It's and gonna you show you your default. If this is your adjust. I'm gonna go for four. 
Oops, because five takes a long time to get through. And now, 15 seconds later. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to save right. that. All right. Saving this. Press and hold. Save and this will save it to page four, else. mode one. Boop. One, two, three, four. <laughs> These are some of you the newest, also... most experimental features. Uh, and so sometimes if we look at each other weird, yeah. it's because something maybe... We're, we're bug checking right yeah, now. Yeah, we're bug checking <laughs> at the same time. Does it actually work the way we expect? Uh, and this, like any other mode in page four, you can edit. So you could actually go in and adjust the interval if you decide you want to change that. You would have to do save it individually um, if you did that. Uh, you could also duplicate it. And interestingly, you might think, well, what happens if I edit my show page that this autoplay is doing? This autoplay is a reference to that show page. So if you edit that show page, that will be reflected in this instance of it in page four. And if you delete it, it will disappear from page four. It will also be deleted. Um, I think that just about covers it with show pages. We're excited to see how other people can take advantage of some of these features because I'm sure there's things we haven't even thought of. Um, oh, you know what Brian does with them is uh, so using autoplay. Autoplay is in five second intervals or one second intervals at the smallest. If you want to create a show to music, you can actually create a show and and start your autoplay at the beginning of a song, and you can arrange it uh, if if you. Duplicate a mode, save it multiple times in a row. So you get a resolution of one second or five second uh, chunks that you can use to create a show to a song where you can hit cues pretty much on cue. Um, they're not gonna be exact because you only have, say, one second resolution. So you could save the same mode uh, 10 times in a row to get you 10 seconds into a song. Or if you're doing it in five second increments, save it three times in a row to get you 15 seconds. And it won't look like that mode is restarting every time. It actually plays continuously. So if you have a mode that's changing color slowly and you've saved it to multiple slots uh, in a row, it'll just continuously play, which is nice. And then you can add uh, modes that are very kinetically responsive right before a cue. So the mode will change right before a musical cue and people aren't really gonna notice the mode change so much uh, until you do a movement with it. So if you do the movement on cue, that triggers that kinetic response, then it looks like, you know, it did a thing on cue. Right. I probably don't have the patience for what Brian did, <laughs> but I can tell you that I would use that feature uh, for as sort of a, a casual show of sorts, or maybe if I'm doing a strolling act. I don't think that 30 seconds, the max interval for the autoplay, is really enough in my opinion. I prefer like a minute, minute and a half, maybe two minutes even per mode. Because oftentimes I'm out strolling for 40 minutes at a time. And, uh, and so that gives me enough time to really take advantage of the mode, get familiar with the mode again, and utilize the kinetic features that the modes have. And so what I could do would be to uh, save the same mode four times in a row and then adjust it to its longer autoplay, and I would end up with a 30 second runtime of that mode. Or, sorry, a, a two minute runtime of that mode, um, rather than just 30 seconds. And then I can do that with several other of my favorite modes, and it'll continue cycling through and, uh, and give me what I'm looking for. So there's a lot of customization options that are built into this that we may not have even predicted at first. Yeah, yeah. and even, I mean, the fact that if one of those modes is five modes into your favorites and you want to duplicate it, um, you can't really duplicate it to that slot a bunch of times, but you can duplicate it to mode one and then duplicate it a bunch of times in mode one mm -hmm. and do that to any other mode and kind of reorganize your show at the same time as creating those longer chunks. Yeah. I suppose one other thing to mention is if we, uh, if say I've saved some of my favorite modes in a show on page nine and I'm creating a new show, but I don't want to lose some of those favorites that I took a long time to, 
to craft. Maybe they've got really specific colors or something, or I'm just really fond of that particular blend of colors that I got. Um, I, can, I can preserve that favorite by saving it from page nine and it'll duplicate itself onto page four. And so even if you're about to push page nine out and lose everything on page nine, you're still able to pull individual nodes from it and, uh, and hold on to them. Right, especially when you've got a look that's fairly involved and maybe you're deep into an adjust cycle, uh, which I'm excited to hear about. Yeah. Next, let's, let's take yeah. a look at some uh, mode adjusts, two layer adjusts and specific things they can do with the mapping and everything and yeah. some of the kinetic responses. Love it.